All right, guys, so I got a request from Instagram how I remove window tint. And well, there is two ways. I use this uh, steamer. I highly recommend it. It hasn't give out. You could probably use it for an hour and um, it won't give out. So I have used it for a couple cars. Um, it does have a different uh, tip. This one's just PVC pipe, schedule 80 electrical so it's it's a hard pipe it's like a 45 degree and then um i use that uh orange tape so i'm able to touch it but it does get a little bit hot i'll put the link on the bio you guys could check them out i bought it from amazon and i say that a steamers maybe like a the best way to go just because it won't leave any adhesive. Well, it won't leave adhesive, but not to the point where... And, uh, oh, it's hot, careful. So now by using a steamer, you pretty much get a a nice clean removal it is time consuming I'll let you guys know that right now you gotta do is you gotta do this nice and slow make sure the steam gets the film what I like about doing this is that at the same time you're not putting too much stress on the glass and just putting heat direct direct heat for a good example would be uh the heat gun that's where i'm gonna show you right now we're gonna do the other half now you see how i could get closer to the door panels it's not gonna burn them so this is a good example now i got this steamer for 65 65 bucks which is not bad uh they're probably cheaper now but I'll make sure I'll put the link on the bio so you guys can check them out. So here we have, let me see, uh, a little bit of adhesive there. And that's about it, just on this little side, a little, a little bit of adhesive. But you guys get an idea of using the steamer, which is... The best way to go just to remove any tint it gives you that extra temperature that you need and it gives you a safe way to do it without burning any panels or any plastic around the door so now this is the best way like i said i got it for 60 bucks but i'll check out the I'll, I'll check it out and I'll let you guys know how much is it but I'll make sure I put the link below so you guys could purchase one or if you guys already have one then you know how steamers come in handy now let's get the heat gun all right guys so here we have the heat gun a Wagner heat gun it's just two settings low and high uh, I use this one and I use the red one now for removals you could use this you could either put uh, heat from the back of the window or you could do it from the inside and all you're doing is just applying heat but now uh, here's where it gets complicated because now you're putting actual heat closer to your door panels or to any plastics so now the best way to do it, if you do it with the heat gun, is start from the top. And you're going to work yourself from top to bottom. So once you get closer to the plastics or any uh, door panel, all you're going to do is you're going to yank the tin off. So you're going to rip it off. You will leave adhesive behind. But that's what I prefer doing than burning a... A door panel or plastic now the other downside about doing it with the heat gun is that you're putting so much heat to the glass 
at the same time. So keep in mind that I'm doing the best to stay away from the from the plastic there, but at the same time too much heat will burn the film. So So my recommendation is to So this is what I meant once you get to the bottom. Once you get to the bottom, there's cohesive here and it's nice and clean on this side. So once you get to the bottom, just rip it off and you should be good. Now, if you're putting too much heat at the same spot, you know, you start burning the tent. So you don't want that. And doing it with the steamer, you know, it takes it off. You will burn the you will burn the tent with the, using the steamer as well, but not as fast as the heat gun. But that's pretty much it, guys. I'll just show you how I clean the window, scrape it, and this is just a short video. All right, guys. Just to remove any adhesive, you're gonna get your soapy water. Start scrubbing. Now don't forget, just by you scrubbing doesn't mean that the adhesive is gonna come out. You actually have to use a blade to clean the bottom. And I actually have mine. So here's the blade. So when you when you clean the window. You, you'll feel it right away. Well, there's adhesive. See, like this whole section feels nice and smooth right there. There it is. So, you know, just you will get speed as you go. But if you're just starting to tent, just take your time. Trust me guys, it's better to take your time than doing it in a hurry. Okay, so there we have it. We have here this section, look right there, there's a bunch of glue. But as we go, we're just cleaning the bottom. Now for the bottom part, I'm gonna do this. And then we'll spray some more. Now also try to avoid um, getting some of that old glue on your towels because they will get messy. So if you do, make sure it's old towels and not your towels. And then all we gotta do is just clean the window. So, my, we'll do a second scrub. Scrub, scrub, scrub. Get the bottom. Start from top to bottom. So now once you get that clean, you get your tri-edge or any other tool and you clean the bottom. So once you do that, clean your edges, the bottom gasket, and you do the last pass and just go back and you'll see right away where there's adhesive. See, so here's a good example. So 
So that just means that we get to scrub it one more time. And we get to use our blade again. So now, uh, without me showing you guys, this is the way I would do it. Like I mentioned, you will get speed as you go, as you guys learn. All right, I'll put this there. I'll get my, uh, there it is. Start from top. Here, let me just spray it a little bit. Start from top. And that's it, guys. You got yourself a nice clean window. You go back again. You check if there's any adhesive. On the bottom and side, they're at the corners, but everything looks good, guys. So hope this hope this video helps you guys out, and uh, that's the way I remove windows. That's how I clean it. Oh, it's on the outside. So that's how you you guys seen me clean the window. How to remove the tent? Like I mentioned, if you guys have any any comments or any questions, comment down below. Or message me on Instagram, put it right here, and I'll get back to you guys as soon as possible. And then um, stay tuned for the next video. I'll be doing this window, and I'll be I'll be showing you guys how I do a frameless window. All right, guys, peace out.